Hello everybody, got the gamer skills here. Welcome to Got the uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe aka Stanley Parable 2. Um uh, this is uh, going to be um a video with a webcam. I'm going to start making a lot of videos with webcams. So if you're excited, make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button and let's start this. Begin the game. This is the story. Okay, let's start this. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, narrator. Just grab the this. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered mm. the door on his left. Okay, fine. We'll go to the door on the left. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can oh. guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm going downstairs. Don't know what everyone's talking about. Okay. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive yep. economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Wait a maybe, minute, this is the same room himself, I was in. Maybe I am crazy. Wait. He yep. looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze. But said nothing at all. And that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience the without the psychologically there. grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. What is happening? And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, what? I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were so his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. What just happened? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Wait. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, what and is walked happening? to her place of work. But on this particular day, me? her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of this course, he no got bucket. mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. 
Perhaps he didn't even but realize he'd forgotten bucket. his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Ooh, what? What? Guys, if you know what's happening, comment down below because I really just don't. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the I door know. on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Ah, yes, yeah. truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed nice, room. Nice, I love this room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yep, let's go now. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. And I was like, what's he doing over here? That didn't work. Hmm. Let's go through here again. I forgot what's here. Ever the end of me. Okay. Guys, comment down below new ending. Oh. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. Oh, this again. Okay, so this is actually different. This is actually different with the bucket. So let's um begin the game again, and do it with the bucket. Okay, let's go now. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly yeah. to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Okay, Stanley let's go took over the door here. on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. No, I'm going to go into this vent. I'm going to listen to myself. I shouldn't be listening to some horrible, dirty-looking bucket. Okay, seen that. Nothing there. Oh! Okay, here's the different ending. Okay, Whatever this is. is day number 295, tape number... <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I stay... 
study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer you f Wait, hold on. Also, did it say that before? The sequel is now paused? Did it say the game is now paused? I don't know, let's just resume. Euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the narrator sounds in my good chest good. when I set it down. Evidence 252. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. Still haven't figured no out why I what? see the world so differently when this okay, bucket my, my is in it. my arms. Why Wait. everything feels Eject. so I don't know what's going on right now. What do I do with this treasure? I can I can my it's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be golden careful ticket is to because sell as buckets. soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? <gasps> Camporata. Okay. Okay, um, guys, comment down below some new endings that you want me to see because there are a lot of endings in the Stanley Parable. And I just want to find out all of them, but I think there are too many to actually find. So, but I want to find all the major ones. So if you have no any endings that you want me to see, comment down below. And... Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. Go. What could it mean? Yeah, sure. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had bucket. simply missed a memo. Why don't I pick up the bucket? It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Should we go? Let's go here. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the empty No, I don't feel no bucket calling to, to me, narrator. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Yes, Stanley the bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door wrong. on his left to go back to the meeting room. No said the bucket don't go to the meeting room go somewhere else the cargo Where lift yes go, go there go to the cargo lift you know what i'm just jumping off bye but stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket his dearest friend so he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms how deeply touching what? Alright guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye bye!